in this session, we'll be setting up a SCOM 18001 um, server using the VHD evaluation. So with this, this was it's actually a pre-configured VHD that you need to just create a new virtual machine of generation one in Hyper-V and then mount the VHD that you download into the to the VM and then start the VM up. So right now we're looking at the VM that I've created is now booting up using that VHD. And um, after it fully up, fully boots, there'll be a few questions that it'll ask. Uh, and then from then on, it'll go and configure everything else for the VM automatically for us. All right, so this is the entry screen that you get once you boot the VHD for the first time. So you just need to fill out a few questions here to get going. So I'm going to start with the system name. So I'm going to name the server SCOM-SAC1 for semi-annual channel 1. And then I need to specify the domain name that I want to join. So I'm going to join the Lewis Tech Views domain. And then I need to provide some user credentials that are authoritative to that can join the server to the domain. And then here I can also specify IP address information uh, if I don't have a DHCP server. Um, so for this, I'm going to go ahead and let it be assigned the IP address from the DHCP server. And then over here on the right hand side is asking me for action account information. So I have an option to use the local system account or I can specify a domain user that will be authoritative for action account within the System Center Operation Manager application. For, for my purposes, I will use an action account. So I'm going to go ahead and say domain user. And then I'm going to go ahead and specify some credentials. So I'm going to name this um, action to make it simple. And then I provide a username and password. Um, I look like I typo there. Try it again. Okay. Um, I'll also let me put the domain name. All right. So these are the settings I'm going to use for this system. All right, so we're going to click, okay, um, actually, I think this is scum action prod, actually, is the account that I created. Um, so, yeah, let me just correct that there. And now we can say okay. Um, it's not liking that for some reason, so let me, let me try typing that again. Some action dash prod. Huh. Why does it think it's empty? Almost seem like a bug in the install here. It seems like like if you click on there and then click off and then click back, it's in some type of weird error state where it thinks it's empty when it really is not. Um, there we go. Now doesn't think it's empty again, so let's try it again. And now it thinks it's empty again. Okay, that's weird. So maybe I don't need to type the domain name. Maybe it will do that for me automatically. So let's try that. Let's try that without the domain name and see if that takes. And let's go say okay. So now this part will take quite some time to deploy. So what will happen in the background and this command prompt is going to actually go through and start um, automating the installation as it in, um, installing all of the SCOM pieces, um, configuring the, um, the accounts, joining the system domain and doing all those pieces. So I'll go ahead and let the, that run and depending on your environment, this can take anywhere from several minutes to several hours. So um, it kind of have to be patient and let it run through all the steps. And then once it completes, we'll, I'll come back and then we can, we can continue.
So now the server has completed installation, so it has deployed automatically a SQL server, it has joined the system to the domain, and it has also installed the SCOM operation manager components as well. So we click on the start menu now and go to System Center, Microsoft System Center. We can see that various different um, operation console, web console piece components have all been deployed on the server. So let's go ahead and jump into the operation console. And you can see System Center Operation Manager version 18.01. And there we go. It is now up, connected, and ready to do monitoring. So you can see I'm using the uh, pre-configured VHD. You can be up and running and fully configured with the operation manager environment uh, within uh, maybe about an hour or so, or a little bit more than that, depending on your um, how fast your hardware is, how long it takes you to download and extract the files. Uh, but you, do, you don't have to um, do most of the configuration yourself. It's, it's, for the most part, fully automated. Once you have the VHD booted, it'll configure everything and have you up and running. So hopefully this information has been useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.